Hey, 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 it is Vado Day number 19. And you see it, you see it, your girl is out here, out here on the pavement, getting it in. And you don't believe me? Let me turn this camera around. Let me help you out. Let me change this camera around. Oh, this thing don't want to let me be great. It's taking pictures instead of ah, operator error. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. I'm out here getting it in. It's cold out this door, but my mind is made up. I'm kicking um, excuses out the window and I just want to just keep my word, encourage y'all to just press in, press in in this season. You can't afford to let your excuses cost you, just cost you the victory, cost you the goals that you got on the line. No, come on sis, let's do this. Come on bro, let's do this. Let's live our best life. Let's do what's necessary to make the changes. And at the end of the day, going out here walking in a at a public park ain't gonna cost me nothing but some time and at the end of that's not that's not uh costing me what that actually is doing is investing it's an investment in my future so i want to encourage you to invest in your future because at the end of the day you only get one life you only gonna get one ain't no do-overs in this thing called life so why let the mind battles, the struggles, the psychological issues keep you from changing your circumstance. If you're not happy where you are, you the only person who had the ability to change where you are. Y'all, Kujo or whoever, whatever they want to call him, better stay down and know where he at. Cause anybody got time for that. Not today. I'm sorry, I got a little distracted. I don't do dogs, y'all. I really don't. But he in the fence, so we good. Um, but nah. So this week for me has been full of emotions and not necessarily all related to anything I was going through, but when you are in y'all know this is a faith based channel, right? You know it's a faith based channel. Okay, I just had to remind you before I go here. But uh, when you are an intercessor, you feel what other people are going through. And so I work in the medical field and my patients have lost loved ones this week. And you know, when somebody come in and they heart heavy and you got them in the tomb, it impact you too, especially when you talking about somebody that you don't been uh, catering to or, or servicing, being there for, for a number of years. And now you really see them in a vulnerable state. And so I think if nothing else, um, it reminded me just how um, quickly the tides can change in your life, how, you know, how precious life is and how important it is that we make the best out of it sometimes we can tend to get so caught up in our own world and what we got going on that we forget about the needs of other people and i thank god that he is making me ever so sensitive to the needs of the people and i know People like to glorify holidays and they like to just get all hyped up about stuff, but they forget about people who happen to go through their first Thanksgiving or first Christmas or whatever without somebody that they value so much at the table. They forget about people who learning how to live again after they lost somebody. And I'm not... I'm not talking about me, but I am talking about me. And what I mean, I'm not talking about me, is in this moment, I'm not the one who's feeling the weight, but I I am 
uh, processing, changing my life. I'm processing starting over uh, with some, without some valuable people in my life. And so I just wanted to just come on for a few minutes and share with you guys uh, the journey. Share with you guys that I'm still, I'm getting it in. It's, it's fatal day number 20. And your girl do not like cold weather. And the temperature don't drop a little bit here in Georgia. Yeah, it don't drop a little bit. And I still pull my mind together and put on a sweatshirt and hit this pavement. I'm gonna let y'all see it just a little bit. See, see, I'm out here getting it in, out here on this pavement, getting it in. Simply because I got goals to reach. And when you know that you know that you got something on the line, you, and then when I, like I am right now, I'm in a position now where I got my momentum back. I'm in the vein, mentally, I'm flowing with, with the uh, purpose. I'm flowing with my purpose right now. So I'm not going to. Not gonna take down to the fact that it's a little chilly outside. If nothing else, the fact that it's, it's a little chilly out here ain't doing no but pushing me to go faster. And I can promise you that. So that at the end of the day, so that I will go ahead and uh not play with it but get it done. So you gotta change your perspective. Change your perspective on your circumstance. Change your perspective on your own ability. Um, not to make light of other people who are bedridden and who don't have use and activity of their limbs, but you gotta think about it. You ain't bedridden. You might not like exercising, but you can. So why waste these these use and activities of your limb. My mom used to say when I was coming up, you either gonna use it or you gonna lose it. You know, it's sad when you sit and you watch elderly people who don't have their cognitive they ain't got they ain't in their right mind no more. They don't have they don't even, can't even get up and go get themselves a glass of water. Um, because they don't know how to anymore. And you are young. You may not necessarily have the best health. Because if you're obese, you ain't in your best health. But you still not to a point where your health so bad that you can't reverse it. You can reverse. And all these illnesses can be reversed. Diabetes can be reversed. High blood pressure can be reversed. You know, high cholesterol can be reversed. All of those things are the sum of our choices. And we have to, for one thing, go to the doctor. Go get them checkups. You got health insurance. You ain't got no reason why you ain't been to the doctor. Stop letting that job dictate to you. And I'm preaching to the choir, y'all. Trust and believe me. I have to shake myself and make myself realize that I can't be everything for everybody and then neglect me. I still gotta make time for me. And I'm the only way I'm gonna be able to feed somebody else is if I'm making sure I'm spiritually and naturally nourished so that I can be able to pour into other people. So if you got health insurance, use your benefits. Go and go to the doctor. Even if you don't go but one time a year, let that annual, you do know, you get one completely free. You ain't gotta pay no copay. You ain't gotta pay nothing. All you gotta do is make the appointment. Show up. That's all you gotta do. When you show up, then let them run them labs. Let them know, let you know where your numbers at. You know the sad thing that I see often is people who don't find out they got a any kind of health condition till it's too late. It's it's too late to find out. Uh, it's too late when you got stage four colon cancer. 
it's too late then you know neglected nice all going free, keep it up you know, neglected all them free screenings all them opportunities to do just what it's called prevent prevent yourself from having diabetes high blood pressure whatever it is if you go and you get your annual you get your numbers you'll have an idea of where you stand and when you have an idea of where you stand if you're on the borderline or something then you can cut back at that time you can make the adjustments to avoid going over the line but if you neglect and you think just because you ain't went to no doctor that you don't have no health problems that is the biggest misconception it's so many people walk around here ticking time bombs they walk around here blood pressure at stroke level and they have no idea baby if you got a headache every day if you got to take all the over kind of pills that is an indication to you something wrong something going on on the inside of you you need to go check it out you need to go figure out what's going on don't be afraid of what the doctor gonna tell you that's insight so you can know what to what to pray against you can know how to fix it you can know what to do but if you don't go and you don't sit down and let them do what they need to do to get you right then it ain't nobody fault but your own it ain't nobody fault but your own at the end of the day even if you do not have health insurance your local health department is there for you they will do all the same stuff you're gonna get done at your doctor's office on the sliding scale and they'll work with you and i'm so sick of people trying to make it seem like it's unaffordable you can't pay for labs but but you got J's, but you got Michael Kors, but come on now, come on, where your priorities at? But you got the all these expensive cars and all this other stuff, but you won't take time to do the take yourself to the doctor and get whatever you need to get taken care of. Get yourself evaluated to make sure it ain't nothing that needs to be addressed immediately. You know, I'm not trying to uh, attack nobody and I'm not trying to be uh, insensitive. I'm just trying to uh, help you open your eyes, help you really see. Cause you know, like I said, it's so sad to find somebody, to find out that somebody went to the doctor. They went to the hospital. And they wake up from a, a emergency surgery and they got a colostomy bag when all they got to do is go have a, a simple procedure. They put you to sleep. They take a look in them. If you scared of going under and having them take a look in your colon, you can do a simple at-home kit, uh, a little cola guard at home kit, collect a little of your stools to check and they can tell you if something is, is, is if something is abnormal and then you can go ahead and do what you gotta do. But I just say go and go for the gusto. The colonoscopy, you got health insurance, it's gonna be free. You go ahead and get it. Let them do what they gotta do. And then as long as everything normal, you ain't gotta do it for ten years. Once in every ten years you might be a little uncomfortable with the prep, but some of y'all around here using laxatives on a regular basis anyway, if truth be told. So don't don't let that little uncomfortableness make you make you forfeit something that could save your life. I know getting mammograms ain't comfortable. It's not, but it's only for a quick two minute two minute thing that can so, you know, breast cancer is one of the most aggressive forms of cancer. And you know how many women are leaving here. And we are in breast cancer month. So it, it is important that I talk about it. But how many people leaving here? They're leaving here so early because they wouldn't do 
a simple two minute procedure. That's all. That's all it takes. Two minutes. Yeah. You it take you longer to get out your car and walk into the actual facility to get called back, but then to do the actual have the procedure done. It's just a picture. That's all it is. And I mean, you worth it, ain't you? I think you are. I think you're worth it. And I just want to encourage you to kick those excuses. Stop. Stop talking yourself out of what you know you need to do. Not what somebody else just trying to push on you. But what you know you need to do. You know you look in, your, you look in the mirror at yourself every day. You know you you walk you you know when you walking if you struggling to breathe like I am right now <laughs> you know so I mean why wallow in in it why sit here and frustrate yourself about it and that's not gonna change your situation when all you gotta do walk around your neighborhood if you don't want to be outside walk in your house you can walk in place your heart ain't gonna know no difference. As long as you got that blood pumping, your heart ain't gonna know the difference. It ain't gonna tell, be able to tell whether you on the pavement or whether you on your carpet. They got YouTube video. You on YouTube now? You watching me? Turn on somebody else's YouTube video. Watch them and walk in place to their rhythm, dance, whatever you need to do. If walking, if walking is not your thing and you love the party, go ahead and Get you a rope, get in the Zumba class, get in a robots class. If fighting is what you like to do, go ahead, join your boxing class. I mean, it's methods to, you don't have to be limited to one type of activity. You can do whatever strike your fancy, whatever capture your attention, you can do it. And you don't have to kill yourself with no three hour workout and all that. You don't take all that. It could be consistent 20, 30 minutes a day. You spend more than that sitting in front of the TV. Watching, you watch a movie. That's a quick two hours right now. If it ain't an hour and a half. But, so you think about that. Your favorite TV show, Jess. And you know you got them shows that you really don't like, but you just need to find some on TV. During that time, cut the TV off and get up and exercise. Hey, you can even keep the TV on. Keep the TV on and exercise. When I used to take care of my, my grandmother and my uncle, they were home, homebound, and that meant I was homebound too. So guess what I did? Since I couldn't leave the house, I turned on my TV. I had a treadmill. And while I was there with them, I walked on the treadmill. And it gave me a good release. And it helped me maintain and, gain, and actually reach some goals. So, it ain't no, like I said, it ain't no cookie cutter way to lose weight. But... I want to just remind you, 80% of, 80% of it is done by what you put in your mouth. You cannot outwork a bad diet. You need to change what you're putting in your body. Give your body the proper nutrients. Give your body the fuel it needs to be able to really uh, function properly. You sluggish and you tired all the time that's because probably what you're eating ain't never junk it probably ain't even have no vitamins no nothing to it i'm gonna tell you this and i'm gonna get off i know y'all don't like long videos and i'm sorry but i just got a lot on my mind today um but i talked to one of my patients today and she was 80 something years old so healthy and clothing her right mind 
And I was like, you know, I pray I'll be like you when um, I get to be your age. And she said to me, she said, I pray you be better than I am. She said, but what I feel like has kept me around as long as it has is the fact that I take lots and lots of vitamins. She was like, my daughter, she said my daughter was making fun of me about how many vitamins I take. She said, but um, she, her health is worse than mine. And I said, yeah, I bet your numbers can't catch yours because we, tired, we tend to, the younger generation, try to blow off what the older people are t is teaching us, but not realizing how you think they making it to be 80 some years old. They, they ain't make, every decision they ain't made was perfect, but a lot of times when they were younger, they had to walk. Like she said, I was very active. I exercise all the time. She said, I can't exercise like I used to, but you see my watch? I can my, I can make sure I'm getting my steps and making sure that I'm being active and I can watch it on my watch. So even though she may not be what she used to do, she's still at 80 years old, being a caregiver for somebody else, still clothing her right mind, still working out and health conscious. and. That says a lot. It's just a lot. And it's like, I'm like, wow. Now that's some inspiration. You you encourage me. You bless me today. You may not even know how much you bless me. But you did. And sometimes that's all it takes. Simple conversation. A simple conversation with somebody else can totally shift your whole day. So I'm praying that my little simple conversations with you is enough to give you hope and to inspire you to take your life back one workout at a time one meal at a time no this is not this is not no um sprinting no we ain't, we ain't rushing to no finish line it's a lifestyle so at the end of the day take it one day at a time one workout at a time if you miss it Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and get back in it. Yeah, and don't let, just because you mess up at lunchtime, don't let it trickle down and be days before you get back on it. You can, you can eat in moderation the things that you like, but just don't get all crazy and overboard with it. You, you want a piece of cake? Have a piece of cake. Just don't have a whole cake. If you want some pizza? Go get you a personal sized pizza and get your little craving out the way and then move on. Don't go order all these large, two, three, extra, extra large and all that crazy stuff. And you know, once it's in front of you, what you gonna do? Oh, you gonna feel like I'm obligated to eat it now because I got it and I done spent my money. That's why I do not like buffets. And that's just real. Because at the end of the day, I ain't no big eater like that. And for me, I feel like I'm wasting my money. I got to pay all this money because of so many varieties. And I don't like people playing on my food anyway. And then, people don't wash their children. They don't wash their hands. So I'm good on all that. I ain't got to have no buffet. But I'm just, y'all, I'm just, just killing time. Really, just, just talking to y'all while I get my cardio in for the day and I make sure I reach my mark but um I'm about getting ready to wrap it up so I just want to just make sure that I keep my word that I be a woman of integrity integrity is so rare these days y'all it's sad that you can't take people at their word like it used to be it used to be a time they ain't had to have contracts. They ain't had to have lawyers. They ain't have to have all that stuff. Because if somebody gave you their word, oh, it was signed, sealed, and delivered. You go, they were coming through because they put their word out there. But now people don't care. They don't care about their reputation. The hearts of many have waxed cold. So we have to make sure 
that we maintain the flavor, the savor that the earth needs. As believers, we are the salt of the earth. It's our responsibility to share the love of Christ and to show people mercy. It's our responsibility to pour into other people. So, it's our responsibility to help carry somebody else's burden. Can't be so caught up in you. Forget about the needs of other people. Mm -mm. That ain't how, that ain't how, how the Lord works. And we were made in his likeness and in his image. So we got to pattern ourselves after him. And we got to share. We got to share our faith. We got to share our love. We got to be able to be supportive to other people. Because at the end of the day, for some people, we the only Christ they'll ever see. They ain't made no relationship. They, ain't, they have no desire for a relationship with them. And the sad thing is, a lot of people who run around, call themselves, and say they slap their label on themselves that they are Christians, is making it hard for people who genuinely do try to live right, genuinely do try to be there for other people. And that's why they make it hard for people to come in. It make it hard for people who want to get saved because they do not see Christ being replicated in the earth. But I'll, I don't reach the end of my time. My heart is clear. And I'm just praying that you get what you need out of this video. If it's the Lord's will, i see you tomorrow. But in the meantime, I want you to embrace and enjoy your journey. Goodbye for now.